Now, here's a really simple technique you can copy from the Carlos Alcaraz forehand to help improve your forehand. Now, first, just make sure that you have subscribed to Court Level Tennis. Their account is unbelievable, and all of their videos are just like this, crystal clear, right behind the pros. They are amazing. So make sure that you film yourself from the back, and I want you to look for this position right here. I want you to notice that his shoulder, elbow, and hand are all relatively at the same height. This is a really important concept that helps you keep the racket on the hitting side of the body. When recreational club amateur players, when they drop this elbow, that's when you see the racket go too far back, they break the plane, and their swing gets too large. So take the racket back with both hands, just like Carlos, and then I want you to check the footage and see if your shoulder, elbow, and hand are all at a similar level. Now to help me demonstrate this technique, I've got the Topspin Pro here. To get one, you know what to do. Grab my affiliate link in the description below. I'm also gonna pin it in the first comment. All right, when you take your racket back, I want to advise you to have your hand, elbow, and shoulder all relatively the same height. You'll see some pros will turn and their elbow is slightly higher than their hand. You'll see some pros and the elbow is slightly lower than the hand, but the idea is that they are all three at a similar height. When you do this, it helps keep the strings closed and the racket staying on the hitting side of the body. It's when the elbow drops that the racket face opens, the swing gets really large, and it causes problems. So with your Topspin Pro at home, film yourself from the back, just like I'm gonna demonstrate right now. And what you wanna make sure of is that you take the racket back with both hands and hand, elbow, and shoulder are all the same height. And then you hit. Notice my hand, elbow, and shoulder all at a similar height, right there. Hand, elbow, and shoulder. You can even see I'm the type of person who has the elbow slightly higher than the hand. But if you're like this, you look at Djokovic, we just saw, saw Carlos, and the elbow was slightly lower than the hand. That's fine, it all needs to be relatively the same height. So don't get too nitpicky on yourself. Whatever feels best is what's gonna be best for you. It's just they need to all be at a similar height. What you don't wanna do is this, and this is what you see a lot of newer players or players who have kind of let their swing and their technique go, go astray, is they'll turn and the hand will be way above the elbow, or we could say the elbow way below the hand. That's when the racket face opens, makes it harder to close the racket face, that player tends to be late and hit very flat. So if you're looking for more spin, especially, and the ability to dip the ball and shape the ball with topspin, I want you to make sure that your hand, elbow, and shoulder are all the same height. I'll hit three more. Get yourself a Topspin Pro so you can practice this at home. It's a huge advantage to be able to practice at home and then when you go out onto the courts, you've already improved. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play against, practice with, or if you're looking for a coach who can help you with your forehand, then use my link below in the description and in the first comment for Player Court. And my link is playercourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Work on having your hand, elbow, and shoulder all at a similar height when you take the racket back. And when you do, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this!